I make no secret that I'm kind of over zombies. Night of the Living Dead, classic. Dawn of the Dead, another classic. Basically everything from Romero, classic. But zombies can be overdone. Slow, shambling, brain-eating bastards. Seen it. I do like it when they bring something different to the table. 28 days later, fast, psychotic zombies that aren't actually undead. Zombieland had good advice, warm bodies, romance, and so on. This is Resident Evil. At the beginning of the 21st century, the Umbrella Corporation had become the largest commercial entity in the United States. Ironically, their umbrellas are shit. But they do make the stuff movies love. Like things so bad only robots are allowed to touch. Jaeger or Mountain Dew? Looks like someone's on their last day. Not the Jaeger! Who is this, PETA for viruses? Viruses belong in your body, not in a glass cage. If I said it a million times, stop putting your super dangerous shit in easy to break containers. Mmm, you can smell the fresh bat squeezins. I'm just a love machine. Some people. Ask her out, man. Hey Bertrand, you smell virus? Yeah, man, I smell virus. I smell a whole lot of virus. These motherfuckers are dead, man. We really need to address those cussing dogs. The hazard is detected and things go into lockdown. It would have happened sooner, but the scientists weren't appreciative enough. No, don't lock us in here, it's Taco Tuesday! I would like to apologize for stooping to a fart joke. It'll never happen again. Help, it's Taco Tuesday! I would like to again apologize for yet another fart joke. I just couldn't resist. Why not make those containers out of this stuff? Sounds like the people in the next elevator car is having fun. At least at first. It's too late. Taco Tuesday is unleashed. Okay, fine. Three in a row. Sue me. Stuck elevator, and everyone thinks they're John McClane. These doors lock for a reason, people. See? Now you're headless. Itchy, watery eyes. Who's a dirty girl? Isn't it weird how people in movies get weirdly modest when they're alone? This is Alice, played by Mila Jovovich. She doesn't seem to be fully at home here. Oh my god, I'm in Charlton Heston's house. Sorry guys, I think I'm taken. Hello? No, no, no. You're supposed to say hello before the shower. You're just too overdressed now. What's with the high doorknob? Are they trying to keep out Kevin Hart? Look out, it's the happening! Eric Mibus as Matthew Matt Addison. Not that we get a lot of time to learn anything about him. What are you doing? I'm a cop! Among the soldiers are Colin Salmon as Shade and Michelle Give Us a Smile Rodriguez as Rain Ocampo. They're here to check out what went wrong at The Hive, a secret umbrella lab located under Raccoon City. Alice is apparently one of them, but she has amnesia, so they bring her along to The Hive. Because what's a video game without someone missing memories? They also bring Matt to maintain the penis-vagina ratio. They're not there yet, they have to take a train to The Hive. I hope it's a fast train. They only have less than three hours to end the movie. There they find James Purefoy as Spence, another amnesia agent. Apparently he and Alice were assigned to guard that mansion, which is a secret entrance to the hive. Seems awfully complex. So when the lab defenses fire off, it takes out the people guarding the entrance? Who's behind the camera? Elon Musk? Accessing exposition. The mansion where we found you and through which we gained access to the train. The Hive itself, a top secret research facility owned and operated by the Umbrella Corporation. Everyone up to speed? Okay, let's go. You know how guys love doing the Reservoir Dogs walk? May I present Resident Evil Stairs. Eyes forward, you glide down, preferably with something in your hands that looks like a gun. Looks like the sewer backed up. Ew, piss! Chivalry ain't dead. Please, come on. It's cold in here. We know. Ow! Poor bastards. Who you calling bastard, bitch? They are serious about waffles here. 
Don't stare. You're setting yourself up for a jump scare. <laughs> Told you. I said, keep it tight. Kegling as we speak, sir. They're almost at the Red Queen, so we can call it a day, right? The Red Queen is the AI that controls the hive. Just getting that out of the way. You stay here. First, we have to get to the coolest scene in the movie. What's that? Step back, maybe? Super Mario prepared me for this! Oh, fuck that. Time to meet the Red Queen herself. Get out, get out, you can't be in here. Alice, Looking Glass, Red Queen, off with her head, definitely a theme based on that Johnny Depp movie, right? Um, Pirates of the Caribbean? You're all going to die down here. Lights out for the queen and everything she controlled, including locks. See where this is going? Have we learned nothing from Jurassic Park? Rain is the first to encounter a survivor and gets bitten. These are obviously zombies, so you know that ain't good. We'll be revisiting this later. Like me. They get away, but things aren't looking great. Alice also starts to remember how to badass. Ah! Wow, even I'm turned on. <gasps> Zombie dogs, why not? Dog lovers, look away. Out of bullets, but no problem when you're in the Matrix. Still turned on. While Matt is looking for his sister, who worked down here, but a zombie shows up and starts humping the window like he's on a crosstown bus. He finds his sister, zombied and everything. Stop or I'm telling mom! <laughs> Alice takes her out with the Tesseract. Hang on to that, Loki's looking for it. They have history, which comes back in bits and pieces, much like the former employees. Matt and his sister were planning to expose that Umbrella were doing some illegal things by smuggling out some of that sweet T-Virus, and Alice was in on it. Do you have any idea how much the T-Virus would be worth on the open market? Let's see, about 40 million domestically and 102 million worldwide, and five sequels. We must have missed something. Literally, the next scene is Alice and Matt running from zombies. Trapped, they have to depend on the Red Queen to guide them out by threatening her with a permanent shutdown. Remember, the Red Queen is a computer. It's like holding Alexa hostage. But it works, and they get sent through more tunnels. We have no choice but to keep moving, because those things are right behind us. You got that? I like how the groaning, snarling group of zombies are dead silent until they're right on top of you. I'm telling you, we need a ninja zombie movie. Sci-Fi Channel, what are you doing? Alice takes care of business. Wait, kill me like that. I'm gonna die too. Rain gets bitten yet again. Damn girl, you a snack! We lose another one. He was so young and tasty! Actually, he's not eaten, but they have to leave him behind. Back at the main labs, Alice has one of those hallucination flashbacks of when Umbrella tested Jägermeister on rabbits. Wait to see what happens when they add the Mountain Dew. This means there's a cure, an antivirus to the zombies. There's a cure. <sighs> I still want an indoor pool. Another flashback reveals Spence was the guy who started all this. So the guy who's been a big blank wall the entire time turns out to be the biggest asshole. But you can't just wash your hands of this. As long as you do it for 30 seconds with plenty of soap. Zombies are sure stealthy when they want to be. My cats make more noise than that. Spence is bitten, but he has the antidote, so no problem. It's actually stashed on the same train they rode in on. But the Red Queen has this. She releases one of the experimental creatures called a... a liquor. Ladies. Red Queen won't let them out until they whack Rain, who is infected. I require her life for the code. Instead, Kaplan fries her computer and unlocks all the doors. Again, isn't that what caused all this? I see you've already eaten. The marriage was fake, but the divorce is real as fuck. Like any drug lacking FDA approval, there's no guarantee this antidote will even work, but I have a good feeling about it. 
one final attack from the <sighs> liquor ladies a little to the left and you would have made a friend Matt shows the liquor how to lay some pipe rain goes full zombie and dies like one rain falls liquor is licked they get out in time I think we're done right Matt's injury starts mutating quick get six feet away he's got the Rona no one expects the pandemic inquisition run ET run they take away our heroes Alice wakes up totally alone and pretty naked you think those IVs hurt? Wait till you get to the catheter. The napkin I get at KFC covers more than this. I'm not complaining, just an observation. The facility seems awfully abandoned, except for her and Killian Murphy on the third floor. Outside is no better. All right, let's do this. First order of business. Where's the toilet paper? That was Resident Evil. Alice is a pretty cool character once you get to know her. The filmmakers go the cheap and easy route to character development, giving them amnesia. We learn about the character together. Reveals can be strategic, holding back just enough to suit the situation and not make things too easy at first. Still an interesting character, but I wish we knew a tad more about her by the end. But we still have plenty of sequels to learn more about her. Everyone wants to steal this damn virus. Of course the key factor is motivation. To expose evil, noble. For money, not so noble. But if you do it for views, you're an asshole. This little side plot mainly exists as the reason the virus is released, but ultimately it's just a red herring. The Red Queen is a weird antagonist. She's offline most of the time, but when she's up, her actions, while brutal and logical, are still seemingly in humanity's best interest when it comes to keeping the virus contained. Remember, a human caused all this. Besides, who could hate that face? We do get a creative death for some of the characters. Too bad the death scenes kind of peak here. Resident Evil feels like it was going for that aliens or predator vibe where the military is outmatched by monsters. I like how this movie isn't a standard zombie flick. It throws in more action, although obviously Matrix inspired. The zombies themselves are pretty standard fare, so let's throw in some genetic mutants. Some of the CG doesn't hold up, but at the time, nobody complained. Unlike a game such as Doom, Resident Evil does lend itself to a story. This lets the movie move along quickly without getting too bogged down. Even the soundtrack adds more energy to each scene. But each scene turns into creature pops up, defeat creature, move on to the next. At least they switch things up with more varied creatures. I still would have liked to see more variation. There is not a lot of dialogue here that isn't exposition or an explanation or someone yelling orders. There's only so much you can do with zombies and guns. Get creative! Resident Evil is three Bs. As far as video game movies go, it does some things right. The action is thrilling, the effects are well done, and the tone and atmosphere are creepy, dread-inducing, and claustrophobic. The story is a bit of a retread, and most of the characters are cliches designed to die. But at least their exits are memorable. But falling back on zombies loses some points, but that's more a dig of the genre itself. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, the bell, you know, the usual YouTube stuff. This is the newbie, and I'll see you later, kids. Toodles!